Just like a stubborn old Irishman. Well, I gotta help keep our reputation up, you know. Look, don't worry about that, huh? Your son here is carrying on in the finest of family traditions. I taught him everything he knows. Yeah, but I still got a lot to learn, Pop. Bless you, Tommy. You're a greedy lad. He wants to know it all. Well, he's got me believing that he does already. Ooh. Joe, excuse me for a second. I gotta take his pulse. Must be a good poker player, Jeff. I'm a lousy poker player. Ask Joe. I won't believe a word he says. Your expression doesn't doesn't show a thing. Now, look, Mr. Kelly. Uh, we all know it. Look, I have never given up on a patient in my life, and I'm not going to start with you. Talk about being a stubborn Irishman. Pop, why don't you don't, just don't talk anymore? Save your strength, okay? Look. Rose has been trying to shut me up for years and hasn't, hasn't worked a lick. You just have a lot to say, that's all. Patty? Pop? Oh, no. Oh. Oh. I'm just a little bit... Oh, look at the two of you. Yeah, I'm just restless. Come on, now. Yeah? Well, why don't you do something to get up out of that bed, then, huh? What is this, a pep talk? Yeah, if you need it. Oh, hello, Lance. You're here just in time. I was just about to get a lecture. Well, if I know you, you probably need one. Turncoats. You're all bloody turncoats. That's what you are. Look, I'll be downstairs if you need me, all right? Good. Good. You look like you could lead the rest more than I do. Listen, Mr. Kelly. You start taking my advice, and then I'll start taking yours, okay? You better not even be thinking of leaving me, Pop. Me? Oh. Where would I be going? Rose! Oh, Dr. Hi. I was just coming down to the cafeteria to find you. Patty? Oh, no, 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 no. No, I just sent Bobby in with a fresh IV, and she told me where you were, and I thought maybe he'd like some company. Oh, I hate to be a bother. You're not a bother. You're a friend. Is Joe still in with his dad? Mm-hmm. So why don't you and I go over to the lounge and chat? Dr. Troutman to OR, dad. Dr. Troutman to OR, dad. It's quiet around here at night, isn't it? Mm-hmm. But we make up for it during the day. Well, thanks for being here. Oh, I couldn't have left. I would have been bored at home. <laughs> and I do know how very quiet it can get here at night. Rose? Joe and Patty have a lot to talk about. Yeah, I don't feel left out. Is that obvious? Oh, sure. But it's totally understandable. You just have to keep reminding yourself how long they were estranged. Oh, Dr. Weber. What? With all my problems with Patty, I keep forgetting to ask you. Have you heard any news from Laura? No, 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 I don't know where she is. You sure tonight is the night? Absolutely. By the time you wake up in the morning, all three of your problems will have been eliminated. And the black book will be in your possession. Marvelous. I'm sure I don't have to tell you the pressure from the top has been something fierce. You can relax now. I'll relax when the job is done. Run. 
see you in here. Come in. What do you need, Frank? You checked security on the grounds tonight? Yeah, about a half hour ago. Why? Who's on duty? Framer and uh, Rogers. I want you to double the guards. I'll get right on it, Frank. Thanks. Uh, is there anything I should know, Frank? I thought I heard something unusual out there. It's probably my nerves again, or too much coffee. You still want me to do double the guard? I've had a report from the hospital that Patty Kelly may not make it through the night. You worried about uh, his kid? Joe's got a temper. If his father does die, who knows what he may do. He's a bright boy. You think he might know the hit was for him? I think he knows who ordered it. I want the guards doubled, Ron. I'm not taking any chances. You got it. Annie, I just can't, okay? You don't think Patty's gonna pull through, do you? You're a nurse, you tell me. What if you had a patient, a stabbing victim, and you found out that he had developed secondary infections and was not responding to massive doses of broad-spectrum antibiotics? Not only was he not responding, but his temperature had spiked to 104. His blood pressure was acting like it was on a roller coaster. He had a couple of convulsions because of the fever, and Jim. he's your best friend's father. Stop it! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Isn't there any hope? Any hope at all? Huh? Patty's will to live. And Joe's love for his father. Medically, there's not a damn thing we can do. Well, I've been praying for him. I wish I had your faith. I wish you did, too. Right now, you're gonna have to have enough for both of us. Because I have to react to the facts. And the fact is, if Patty goes into toxic shock, it's all over. Hi. May I join you? I don't want to interrupt. No, no, please have a seat. You sure? Yes. I'm sure Annie would appreciate it. I'm not going to be much company tonight. Well, I just left Rose. She kind of needed some alone time. Is Joe still up with his dad? Yeah. You do realize, I hope, that anybody in this hospital wouldn't need to ask for a report on Patty's condition if they looked at your face. It's pretty grim. Yes, well, it is going to be a long night. Yes, it certainly is. Annie, how's my friend Jeremy? Oh, Jeremy is doing just fine. You know, he's, um, he's caught up with a lot of work he missed because of the accident, and, boy, well, I mean, it hasn't affected his studies at all, it seems. He's still as inquisitive as ever, I'm sure. Oh, yes, absolutely. No, he's a bright boy. Sometimes we, um, forget how sensitive he is, though. Well, it's the hardest job in the world to be a parent. I'm convinced of that, especially an instant parent. I don't know if anybody ever told you, but um, when Laura came to live with me for the first time, she was just uh, a little bit older than Jeremy is right now. Really? Yeah. Huh. Leslie, um, are there any leads from the police about Laura? No. She's still officially a missing person. Coffee here is just about as bad, but I think I better go get a couple cups. So you keep an eye on this one, huh? Oh, I will. Oh, you take your time, son. I'll be fine. You bet you will. Trouble with you? 
you do is it? You spend too much time worrying about me. Is that why you think I've been here? Is it? Of course it isn't. And maybe Joe worries, but I don't. Oh. I'm being selfish. You? Oh, that'll be the day. Uh, now, you made me a promise. And I intend to see that you keep it. And you can't if we don't get you out of here. Of course. You do remember. I wanted you to have that so much. Well, time's getting short, and we've got a lot of shopping to do. I'm going to have to get a new bathing Rosie, suit. Rosie, Rosie, You promised me, Patty. I'm afraid I'm going to have to go back on my word, Miss. I won't be making any cruise to the Caribbean. Now, if you think you're going to back out on me, you're crazy. I've been waiting five years for this honeymoon, and you're not getting out of it now. Rosie, darling. I mean it, Patrick. I'm counting on this trip. Now, don't you dare let me down. You hear me? Do you want me to go up and check on Patty? Oh, I'm going to go up too, Liz. Well, I could always page you. No, no, no. I really want to go. Joe's here. He is slipping away right in front of my eyes. Now, isn't there something you can do? Look, Joe, we're doing everything humanly possible. Listen, I know this isn't going to help any, but I want you to know that I have never been more frustrated about not being able to help a patient anymore. Thank you for all you're doing. Yeah, uh, Leslie are on our way up right now to check on him. Bobby and Rose are with him. Joe, we haven't given up. I just hope he hasn't. Come on. I'll leave you in Annie's capable hands, okay? Come on. Hi. Hi. You look like you need a cup of coffee. Yeah. 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 I'll get it. Thanks. Why don't you have a seat? Yeah. Okay? Mm-hmm. Shouldn't I? Hmm? I guess I need that more than I thought. Joel, I wish there was something I could say. Make you feel better. Take the pain away. Make it easier. I guess words don't mean much time like this, huh? No, they don't. Joe, I, I know you've heard it from everyone, and including Jeff. But um, patients usually do recover from surgery like this, Joe. And they do come back, even after severe infections like your father has contracted. <laughs> and there's still miracles. Joe, I've been praying for your dad. I know how important it is for him to live. You... Joe. Joe, there's still a chance your father can live. What kind of punishment would pay a guy back for making Patty suffer that way? The man's paid, Joe. He's dead. The man's dead. Dr. Weber, Dr. Jeff Weber to ICU. That's Dr. Weber. 